what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. The colours of the Nerazzurri prevalent all around us. This is the Giuseppe Miazza, as we all remember it. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. We have already started here. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? The exciting Ivan Perisic. Tall and rangy, but he has a deft touch and enough pace to move clear of attention. He's always looking to shift the ball onto that left foot too. He packs real power with him. Oh, quite no argument for me on that one. Keita! That's a lovely try, but not to be. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. And Danovic gets it upfield. And it's Davis. Keita. Pushes it out wide. Deli Alley. Sanchez. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Looks to clip it forward. In by Trippier. Another chance from a corner. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And he's there to hoof it away. It's got through and. Tries one! Drawn. Jim, your thoughts? I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Script. Teresic, Gagliardini, hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. And it's Kane. And now they can launch a counter. He's left his man. It's Kane! That wasn't far away. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? And he's made certain that won't get through. And Danovic sends that a long way. Keita. Gagliardini. Oh, good interception. Alderweireld. Dembele. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Keita. Brozovic. 
Played out to the right. Kane, full tilt down the left. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Inter have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Lucas Moura. Dembele. And a play for a goal kick. Lucas Moura. I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Now it's Keita. Keita has it in a wide position. So what next? Now it's Asamoa. So who's he picking out? And it's Perisic. Quadro Asamoa looking to get on the end of this. Cut out in the nick of time. Aimed long and direct. And the ball needed to be better there. That's a wasted chance. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Lucas Moura clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. Oh, that's a waste. It's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribble was really smart. Tottenham have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still... And the half-time whistle goes. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Tottenham go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal push. So we're just settling back into this second half. Kane. Trippier. Forward it goes. Nicely measured pass. And it's hoisted clear. Brozovic goes looking. Nyingalan. And it's got through. Perisic. Quadro Asamoa takes the long option. And it's another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. Keeper goes long. And it's Kane. Kandreva. Brozovic, Gagliardini, great strength, too strong for his opponent. And that's the end of that, it all started well enough. Now it's Eriksen. Eriksen tried to play it through. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Well positioned to make that interception. And that's well defended. Lucas Moura. 
Tottenham are certainly playing with an intense focus in executing their plan here. It's Kane! Yes! And they are cruising away. Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. without reply this is becoming a stroll Perisic Perisic Keita and he's onside it's one and the, ball, and the follow up it goes to show he is human after all there's some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change to the right. Skriniar positions himself well and cuts it out. He can get that clear. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. England hits that long for Tongan. And it's Son Kyung Min. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. No, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Brozovic. Over to the left. Perisic has it out wide and in space. Into Milan, have it back, and they can go again. That's a top! Oh, extraordinary. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Alderweireld. Now it's Lucas Moura. Kane plays it out to the flank. Lamela. Fry gets it to safety. Gonna throw in. The Mella massive leap. This could fall anywhere. Played out to the right. Eriksson plays it back in. And that has been clubbed away. Eriksson has a look up from the right hand side, seeking out options. Nyingalan. Out wide to the right. Tongan cuts it out. Ericsson plays it forward. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Hoists it high. And he just whacks it away. And he's got good distance. Who's chasing? Timely intervention. The clearance and very necessary. Chance! And he's away. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. Going to be a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal. Then Tottenham presented with the perfect chance here to open up the Ericsson. Oh, that's brilliant! A finish right from the top draw. 
yet another goal in an awesome performance. They are in complete charge. Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Tottenham tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Gagliardini. Grosovic. And Yama gets it back. And time is up. Tottenham very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they got on the ball, they looked like scoring. It is a landslide. So the gym, almost as if they set up not to lose and 